Hey, Andrew, C1D Paintball. This one shot at Warzone Paintball. And this one playing on the market map. Now, it's a 5v5. The game type is Medic. So, one person on each team gets a lovely Medic helmet. Which, by the way, because Connor and I have cameras mounted on our on our helmets means we can't be the medic unless we take that camera off and uh, it'll happen one day but uh, and there's no question Connor will be a much better medic than me <laughs> but each team has medic back to how the game's set up so if you get hit if you get shot you drop to one knee stand up you call medic medic comes to you can revive you can revive you once in the game so if you get hit twice too bad you're gone so you get a revive, two lives in this game. Now, if the medic gets hit in the head, the medic is out. So to kill the medic, you gotta hit him in the head. Otherwise, he's gonna walk around and he's gonna revive people all the time. Now here's the thing about the medic game type. As we're playing this game, if you've watched some of our videos, you know, I like to call things out and systematically work on those people I see. In a perfect situation, you can see that you might spot the whole other team and kind of just help talk with my teammates and get them out one by one. The thing about this, it's tough to know when somebody's hit, when they're one hit away from getting knocked out because they've been revived. And you can try to pay attention, like, oh, I, I, you know, if I'm, I see Connor and he gets hit out once, say, okay, Connor got hit. Okay, when he's revived, go, well, remember, Connor's one more hit and he's out. You can do that. In this game, it didn't happen. Uh, not used to playing this type of medic on this field and the whole air of this game was don't get killed don't get killed support your medic so your medic doesn't get hit and he can get to your teammates so that's the thing about this one is um, the focus the focus is always take the other team out but it was heavily on protect your teammates you always want to protect your teammates for certain things just in general uh, to help them support moving up but for some reason in this one I just had this this thing it's like I had to really protect now uh, my team is spawning on the south side and I'll kind of go just in front of the barrier the spawn barrier in the middle because this concern of mine and a slight apprehension I want to be in the middle and adjust as things happen around me meanwhile Connor and his team spawn at the White House and uh, you know what let's watch it to see what else happens Got three left, including Connor. Three left! Three left side! One went far right! Far right side! You got one right! One right on drums! Right, it's the other left. Second to left. You got one mid, one right, three left! All right, you had the audio of both cameras, mine and Connor's. Connor spots Jeff, who is our medic, right away, go to the back right. I have a little bit of better luck, though. I spot Connor, Jay, and Matisse right away, move to uh, to my left uh, on the east side, so they're in the north, uh, sorry, west, the northwest side of the map. And I'll also sp uh, sp see the last two remaining players, Thomas and Jay, so I've had a good start, you know, calling and, and finding where they are. But as I mentioned in the intro, this game being Medic is going to change the way I think and play. For the better or for the worse, <laughs> your call. You're just showing off, kid! Oh shit! That's one, that's one! Now while I was able to identify Connor's whole team, where they are, Connor does one up me somewhere. And in one category, important category, is he tags kill hit. So Kill Hit is out waiting, well not out, but he's waiting to be revived. And actually some of the shots going towards Kill Hit, they get by him and almost hit me. I say a bad word, uh, but I don't get hit. And um, I've got to now, and in my head right away, it's like, okay, Jeff, come over here, get Kill Hit, 
put him back in there. But as I mentioned, I'm very apprehensive because, yeah, I want him to do that, but I don't want him to get hit. And Connor's a smart player. I don't know it's Connor who hit him at this point, hit, kill, hit. I, I know it is now, but during the game I didn't know because naturally when a player gets hit like this in the medic thing, I will just assume that whoever took him out is camping on that body, still lined up waiting for the medic to come in. And like I said, I didn't know it was Connor at the time, but I just expect anybody to do that. Connor will always wait for that. So um, for what's going on at this point in time, I've taken the right approach. At least that's what I think. One's on the left side. He's still on fire, but he's closing in. Yo, I'm watching the body. Now after hitting kill hit and uh, just waiting to pick off maybe the medic to revive him, uh, Connor actually takes a shot off the hand here. Now uh, he's going to inquire where his medic is and he's not going to get revived right away. So uh, my, my, the main focus instead of his camera, we're going to flip and mine's going to be down there. But you'll hear in the next uh, little sequence where he's asking about Jay as medic, where Jay is. He'll even question, has Jay been hit? Has he been knocked out? So he's patiently waiting there. And uh, meanwhile, I'm trying to uh, continue uh, the fight from my side of it. What I'm gonna do is specifically for a bit here, focus on the right where Thomas and Jay are. I don't know it is Thomas and Jay because I know Jay was the medic, so I don't know if I that, but I know there's two guys there. Now remember, kill who got hit. I want um, Jeff to revive him. From where Kill it is, it's that flank from the right, because we got guys straight ahead of where Kill it is. But if Jeff goes around him, he can kind of use that barrier that uh, Kill it is behind to protect him. It's that right lane there that I know they can get an angle on Kill hit, so that's why I'm focusing on that to uh, push him back, maybe even hit them. I think they're looking to move on the right. I think I got pain in my mouth. Um. Anybody? I think, oh shit. I think medic may be right. Where's the medic? It might be the one medic. of the ones on the right. I think Jay. it's the kids on the left. What, to the right or left? Jay. Okay, yeah, so on the right, cool. Is our medic dead? I thought you kids only know how to do digital clocks. Cool. <laughs> Jay! You gotta push left then. The field is not making much money right now. Uh, nice fucking play there. You tried to call me out. They're medics. I think Yo, they're medics it. alone, right? Any eyes on our medic? We got pump. Is he alive? I'm, I'm Pump's on the left. He made it across. Magnum. Alright, thank you. You want to move into my spot, uh? Yeah. So Connor's team has what I call an overload situation. Jay revived Connor, so Jay ends up a little bit behind Connor. Uh, Jesse and Matisse are also right next to um, Connor, so they've only got one more guy in the field who's kind of just slightly off mid, but they're more or less the entire team's overloaded to one side right now. Now, as the camera starts up again, I actually have Thomas lined up. And I'll fire a couple of shots, but unfortunately, I will not be able to make a hit. Now, at the same time, I don't hit. I'm trying to hit Thomas, but I don't hit him. Connor actually calls out uh, Jeff approaching kill hit. So he's approaching there, the medic, like he thought he would. But he's not going to stay put. I mentioned overload situation. Connor's going to circle back and go on the left. He's called out the medic is going for kill hit. He's got basically his whole team there. So he's going to go around to the left and he's going to kind of hug the outside of the White House on the uh, northeast side and uh, kind of judge what's going there before making his next move. Fuck, on right, right side. 
this was horseshoes, I would get points for that. All right, you see Connor's uh, angle here. Again, looking in the field, wondering what's going on before he makes a move. Now, I looked left and I didn't realize that um, Charlie was there and he hasn't been a hit. Now, I'm gonna look to my right and see Hector as well. I'm kind of sizing everything up. You know, to the left where Kill it is, there's some shots exchanged. Uh, things are getting pretty heated. Can you talk when you're hit? Fucking good thing. Mag's out, mag out, mag out. Hey, medic, is the left side clear? Now, Connor asked Jay if the left side is clear, what he can see. Uh, and as he asked this, actually, in the camera here, this is a general area where me, kill hit, um, Jeff and uh, Charlie are. More specifically, I'm right here and Connor's gonna fire some shots. I don't know if he knew it was me. I don't know if he just happened to be going left. Saw something, but he's shooting at me. Uh, and while that's happening, he actually calls Jeff out. So our medic is called out again. Never a good thing. But uh, Jeff will, uh, while this is happening, revive Charlie to uh, at least uh, help us that way. Connor on the right, he's shooting me hard. Nah, it's a fucking trap. Medic's running right! Medic on the right side! Medic's on the right side! He ran over! He revived one! Connor's on the right! All right, bit of activity there. Connor moved into an open area in the Northeast. Now, he knows my team is generally in the back, the back right from him. So he's in the long ball area. So it's long shots to get to him from our side. They can break, not as likely to break the further away you go, obviously. And when you see him coming, sometimes you can just dodge left and right. So uh, not a bad thing to do, especially because overloaded on the one side. Uh, you know, we know Connor's there, but we don't expect him. You're, you're, think of it this way. You're focused on one side. You know there's somebody on the right side. You're just waiting for them to do something. When they do something, they're way out there in the open. And instead of just like he's pinned around the corner where you can just take a quick shot, it kind of catches you off guard. It's like, what the hell is this guy doing? But that screenshot. Connor's looking at an empty hopper right now. I actually got to change my own mag as well. So hey, gotta make sure you got some shots, right? Now one thing you'll see here just quickly is uh, Jeff is now lined up at the barrier behind Kill Hit, so he's getting ready, making sure everything's clear so he can get right to him. What the Wait, fuck? Wait, hold up, Meg. Sit tight. Good little shot here of Jeff peering around that barrier just to make sure the coast is clear so he can get to kill hit finally. You want cover? Where? Straight ahead? Go, 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 go! Oh, what the fuck? So Jeff is peering around that barrier that is directly lined up behind kill hit to make sure you can get to him. I'm gonna ask Jeff where he wants cover fire. He wants it, wants me to cover the right side where Connor is. It's a good idea. Connor's already peppered us here before. Now, Connor actually was firing straight down because we had Hector to my right. And Connor fired some shots at Hector and Hector put a couple shots back and I actually threw some shots back and as Connor kind of goes, a little blurry here, he pops out from behind this barrier as he retreats a little bit. Uh, a few shots come in from myself and Hector. I believe it's the shots from me, but they hit them. They sting right, but they bounce. Remember, I talked about long balling. The thing about long balling where he is right now is you will get a lot of bounces. So 
Kind of stings him a bit, but uh, he's still in the game. So in the next sequence, Connor's actually standing his ground in the same spot. He calls out Hector, aims his marker, pulls the trigger. Somebody's gonna get Hector to put him down and out there. Well, down but not out. I'm trying to refer other video games to it. He's been hit, but he can get revived. He can't fire here, so uh, Connor's call out pays off. And speaking of paying off, Jeff is finally able to get the kill hit. Kill hits back in it. Kill hit, you cost me a mag. Make it worth it. Yo, he's on the left side in front of me. Container. I know. Kill. Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, I want to move up right. Mid. Now I mentioned to Jeff that um, I'm, I want to move up to the right. So I'm about to ask him, you know, to give, him, to give me some cover. But as I look to the right, it's Connor that moves up. So I'm going to flip the cameras back and forth here. So Connor moves to my right, kind of catches me again when, it, when he, I was surprised he was out in the open there before. A little flat-footed, but uh, I'm going to still go out there to try to counter his move. Now as I get to um, my spot to counter Connor, my left side's like wide open. I take fire from uh, what I believe is two enemy teammates and uh, I can throw as much fire as I want back. They're gonna still see me here. So I'm forced to move yet again. Connor's coming right! Rather I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm not out, but I'm hit. Don't bother. Hit, I'm hit here. Yeah. Now as I moved again, because my first move to counter Connor was I got was getting flanked, so I made another kind of quick decision to move in. I get hit off the top of the head, so I'm waiting to be revived. And by the way, it kind of stung. So I was considering just calling out, you know, hey, I'm out, forget it. Sometimes we all feel that way, but no, I'm gonna stick with this one. Maybe I'll get revived, you know, uh, just kind of brush it off. Now Connor is standing again in the open, but he adv he's advanced even further. And he's going to do something, well, let's watch. Freeze! 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 I'm out. I'm out. Freeze! Freeze! I know, but still. You want me to shoot you? I'm out then. He's got me frozen. I'm out. Coming out. Coming out. Hey, kill it! Freeze! I'm coming out here. Coming out. Coming freeze! Out. Yo! I know balls! <laughs> so, officially, Connor freezes myself. He freezes Jeff, and as, his, as he's kind of negotiating to hit kill hit, the referee blows the game, calls the game, because Connor has us all flanked. You might think, like, wow. You know, he's on this wide angle. You know, what a sportsman calling the guys out instead of hitting them. Even though it's from a pretty far distance, it's not going to hurt that much to get dinged from here. The ref sees this and, you know, okay, we're well, just going to call it gentlemen's rules like he's got them on the flank. Connor was out of balls. He's been out of balls and he knew it since he first looked at his empty hopper here a few minutes ago when he was shooting at Hector calling Hector out for somebody to support him because he wasn't going to hit Hector. 
when he was just firing at us, even though he was empty, to distract us. At one point, Jay even says, you're out. You can tell that sound, right? Connor says, I know. But he wasn't just gonna walk off the field out of, out of ammo. By the way, Connor, that's why you carry extra pods. But he's gonna say, well, Dad, look what I did. The need pods to win. Uh, a little funny thing, actually, is he went to Jeff and they had something, I'm gonna paraphrasing this, is, you know, uh, freeze. And Jeff says something to the effect like, well, it doesn't mean you're gonna hit me from there. You haven't hit me yet. And Connor kind of reacts, uh, you know, like, do you want me to? <laughs> and again, so he's out. And like I said, he, as he went to negotiate again with Kill Hit, and by the way, as he's negotiating, Kill Hit like is looking, and he's not shooting at Connor either. So it, it worked. Will it work again? <laughs> if you're playing, Connor, if you're watching this, I hope you watch. And I spent a lot of time making these. This will not work again if I've got the same teammates on my side. So enjoy it when you can. Speaking of enjoyed, I enjoyed making this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Enjoyed some part of it. Go out there, have fun, uh, be creative. I called Connor the great pretender in this one because yeah, a bit of acting on his side. I'm also a believer in karma. Connor, there's karma involved in this. It hasn't happened yet, but when it does, I hope to make a great video about it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Remember, at the end of the day, it's just a game.